Exploding Man! It was hot. Real hot. The kind of hot that makes grass reconsider its evolutionary path. The kind of hot that lifts the tar from the streets and puts big demands on small glasses of iced tea. It was Florida hot. But they were not in Florida. No, the little girl and the tree were about 2,000 miles away from that godforsaken hellhole Florida. Her cat, who was incidentally named after what killed her mother, was about 10 feet from the little girl and about zero inches from the top of the tree's main branch. Cancer says meow. There she goes. The little girl gave the tree her entire attention and recited this following public service announcement. You fucking tree, you god fucking tree, you better give me back my kitten or I swear on the holy fucking ghost of Christ, I will have my father cut you down, gut you, and have you made into ass scratchers. The tree stood in proud defiance. His neighbor shuddered and started moving some roots away. The silence between them was violated by a sound that was nothing like cancer's meow. It was the sound of justice. It was the sound of a superhero. Exploding man. If he loses focus, he explodes. That's how his powers works. Do you want the greatest hero of the century? Yeah, but we can't find him, so let his someone else. Exploding man. Hold no fear. For Exploding Man is here. You don't look like a superhero. I assure you, I am. I think I could beat you up. The man looked at the little girl like a sack of lettuce found deep in the refrigerator several months after purchase. Not that big brand industrial lettuce, but the kind you get from a trader store. Hippie lettuce. Old, molding, bacteria-infested, overpriced hippie lettuce. She looked at him like a caller who got the wrong number. Nevertheless, I've come to aid you in your situation. I shall save this cat, this, um, I'm sorry, what is his name? Cancer. The man looked at the little girl like a boxer's lucky bucket of spit. A bucket that hadn't been cleaned since that big fight a decade or so ago. A bucket that had made the scene at a few after-fight parties and had so been converted into a barf bag for overexcited and overweight groupies of the prize fighter. A bucket that on many a night had found its way to the bedside of said boxer and was placed into the trajectory of the discarded condom or two. The prize bucket of Jimmy the Smacker, that fabled boxer that died from a team effort of syphilis, gonorrhea, and bad teeth. She looked at him like a caller who got the wrong number, apologized, hung up, but then called the exact same number again. Yes, cancer. Fear not, young fluff token, for I shall soon be at your feet. Have at you! You look like a fool. A fool? Keep cool, EM. Don't let your focus falter. Just keep climbing and soon you'll be in the arms of your adoring fans. Those good-for-nothings at the station who laughed at you, but you'll get the last laugh. Yes, for justice, for glory, for the little guy. For fuck's sake! Seven of Cancer's eight working claws were dug deep into Exploding Man's forehead. Down below, the little girl was calling Cancer to leap into her arms. Cancer leapt and ran off into the distance. The little girl shouted, Cancer! and chased after her. The tree's lack of branches made it look more like an awkward pole than a tree. His neighbor called him Pole Tree. They laughed and touched roots. Exploding Man! Explode, dear and man. Then er focus, failure, explode, dit er das ist die seine Kraft Arbeit. Wollen sie den großen Helden vom Jahrhundert? Ja, aber wir können ihn nicht finden. So here is Yaman Anders. <laughs>